guys, it's Taylor. So today I'm going to be doing my online learning Q&A because um, I asked you guys to ask me questions uh, about online school because I started online school a week ago and so now I have been in online school for a week and I've taken some like trial days before that. So I do have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to be doing there and I just wanted to do this video for all those people out there who are wanting to do online school and who are unsure about it or don't know if they want to do it or not. So I thought that I would do this for all of you guys so that you would know more information about this. And um, yeah, so let's get right into this video. So the first question I got is, um, how can you sign up for online school? It's different for everyone. I know for me, I have, um, I go to online school through my district. So that's like our district's like online school program. So I do my district's school program for online school. And I don't know what it's called, but like what Beauty by Sienna does, what um, Viva Glam Sasha, what they do, like just online school for your state. That's like different. You have to sign up for that and I think you have to give like a lot of personal information. I looked into it one time. I'm not sure. I just know for me I had to like send an email and then like my a principal had to approve it and then I got to go to the special building but I didn't have to like do any like personal information because of what district already had mine. So I can't like tell you how to sign up specifically. It's different for like every program too but that's how I did it. I just went in, my mom and me went into a meeting and they made me an account through uh, the program Aventa, which there is a Aventa program for Ohio. So the Aventa program I take and like my school district bought like a special like source of it, I guess. And so I take that and I have an uh, Aventa account. The next question is, are you able to teach yourself like, is it really hard to learn what you need to learn without a teacher? No, I actually like it better because whenever I get bad grades, I always kind of blame it on my teacher. I'm just like, oh, well, they didn't teach me a certain way. They didn't teach this well enough. I don't like how they taught this. They needed to show the information in a different way. I wish they taught this just completely different. And so I I'm like, I'm not going to go home and spend four hours studying for something because my teacher didn't teach me how to do it well enough. So. I like this better because it's like I have the information out in front of me but I have to teach it to myself and since I know myself the best I can do certain things in different ways of learning the information to work best for me and I'm technically on a schedule for a week and I'm supposed to learn the information through the like textbook section in a week and take the test like that Friday or sometimes it's like a week and a half. I usually do it in like three days but <laughs> you know. Um, it just depends on the person um, and so I just make sure that I know the information and I've learned it before I actually take the test and I do some extra like studying which I don't do any homework I don't have any official homework which I love so if I feel like I didn't learn enough or didn't study enough or re review the information enough at um, Oasis then I'll go home and I'll kind of like look over the information on my computer but there's not like a certain specific way you have to learn or anything like that it's just like you have to the information they give you you have to learn and do some activities by a certain date and sometimes do a quiz by a certain date well you always have to do a quiz by a certain date but sometimes it's like a week instead of, or a week and a half instead of a week so it's mostly like you just teach yourself and you can do it how you like and how you learn best so that's one thing that I do really like about it and I don't think it's hard at all. I mean, I think some people would have um, a hard time with like self-motivation as I burn myself. That's why I'm like looking at that. Um, I think some people have a hard time with like self-motivation and um, understanding the information, but that's why I like where I go to because if I don't understand something, which I usually do, but if I don't, then I have a teacher. I can ask for help and she will help me if I need it. So that's really nice. I do really like that. Do, do the same stuff on online school or is it different? It's kind of different only because it's a different curriculum and you actually learn more. Like they pack more into one school year, but it's also really beneficial because I think I, I think I learn more at least than I would in normal school. And I think that you can, like if you're dedicated and you work really hard, then I think that you can end up learning more and getting a better experience out of it than you would with public school. But it's just, I think, well, it is public school, you know? You don't know what I mean. Then, going to school. I really think I personally benefit for it. It's not, like, this is just something that works for me. It's not for everyone, so I'm always saying really good things about it, but I'm sure there's other people who have had negative experiences with it because it's very self-motivated, yeah, very self-motivated, 
and it takes a lot of like personal effort like you can't just go and sit in a classroom and try to memorize information you have to read it and you have to go over it and you have to do extra work just so you know it and if you don't do that then you're not going to learn it probably i mean i don't know about you but i am not the kind of person that can just read over something once and just know it you know like i have to read it several times or do several activities to be able to understand a topic or remember it and it is really different i mean it's like the same because you're learning the same thing technically and you're doing the same thing but you actually i think it gives you more curriculum and you end up learning more and also it's like you don't have a teacher teaching you so it's all about you figuring out what you need to do in the time scheme you're given and completing the work. The next question is why do you do online school? And this is actually a really good question and the reason I do online school is because I have social anxiety. So being in the traditional school does not work for me that well and it gives me a lot of anxiety and I get really nervous being there and I feel really uncomfortable and I ultimately just cannot focus. So that's like a really big deal and I really just cannot focus on my teachers, I can't focus on my schoolwork, I can't focus on anything and I'm so like out of energy I guess by the time I get home that when I am supposed to be doing homework and all that other stuff it's just like too much on me and I just like I, I can't function. It's like a lot of people are like fine when they go you know to sleep and whatever I still feel like I haven't gotten enough break of, from school so I end up staying up to like one or to three at like every morning because I just was not in like a good mood and I was like I need more of a break so I'm gonna stay up longer and then when it was time to wake up to, for school I like would slack so much and I would not get up to like 10 minutes till my bus came just because I did not want to wake up I did not want to go to school I didn't want anything to do with school at all and so it was just kind of a bad situation and I was not happy at all and also I do better in small groups of people and I learn better in that environment in like a not competitive environment and more like accepting I guess environment so that I feel like I have my preschool stuff still like from you know way back when and my preschool teachers said I did better in small groups instead of large groups like we had like small groups in um, preschool and I, I apparently I shared more and was more um, and even seemed more intelligent I guess she said in small group versus when I was in a large group of people in all, the whole entire preschool class. So that's been proven to be true for the rest of my life and so there's 104 kids total that go to my like oasis like for our school district but there's, I think there's only like I'm estimating here because I don't really know, but I think there's around 80 kids that actually go to the building every day. So that's really fun. There's three high school building or classrooms and one middle school classroom. It's not that big. It's a mobile um, home and it's a lot different from our middle school. So yeah, <laughs> I really like it though. I, I think that it's Real, it's like way more stress free because it's a smaller environment. I work at my own pace and I can learn how I want and I'm actually two weeks ahead of the, in the curriculum right now because I work so hard and I understand the material so much. So it's like actually benefiting me and there, you can actually graduate early if you finish your courses fast enough. So I'm taking online English this summer so I can be in 10th grade English next year because I'm in 8th grade right now. And yeah, so it's just kind of like beneficial for me. And then at 12 o'clock, I get on the bus and I ride the bus for an hour and 15 minutes because they have to drop everyone in my like high school area. They have to drop them at home and then I go to back to my middle school. Then I take study hall, web design, and my English class because I don't take English online just because I want to, to still try to interact with more kids so that I would be able to go to high school next year without a problem when I have to take stuff like Spanish and art and design and all that fun stuff. So that was the q and I hope this video helped you if deciding or getting more informed and if you want to do online school or about online school. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want me to do another Q&A because I would love to. I love doing Q&As. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.